you guys this is literally growing under my fucking skin and i don't have no type of fucking health insurance and this has been the worst motherfucking week of my goddamn life i'm like been crying trying to figure out shit health insurance and literally everything under the goddamn sun but what i tell you it shouldn't be this fucking hard it really fucking shouldn't but i was finally able to get some type of appointment from some random ass motherfucking place and i go on wednesday at 9 a.m so hopefully this gets removed because i'm tired of not being able to sleep and i'm tired of crying and i'm just frustrated so that's what's happening with me right now i feel fucking just the worst of the worst <laughs> Just look how much this is changing so fast, so quick. Like it was super hot to the touch, super inflamed. Like I literally couldn't even touch it myself with the lightest grace without it being so painful. Lifting my arms, leaning side to side was just so horrible. Then this white stuff started to like form underneath my skin. Like you would think you could wipe it away, but it, it was underneath my skin. And the more days that went by, the more it just kept changing and kept growing. And it just was so hard. It started off as a benign cyst and it was just super small. Like that little dot that you see right there, that's what all started it from my bra wire popping out. So if you have any bras with bra wires that are coming out of the fabric, just throw it away because this was not fun at all. Look at the hole where... The initial scar was and that little thing caused all of this over the course of three years and this last past week is like it was not benign no more that shit started damn near erupting all of a sudden out of nowhere for no reason and growing every day all right you guys i'm finally going in for the appointment look at how it looks now absolutely insane i am up early because this shit needs to be removed freaking immediately i cannot sleep it is the most pain ever <sighs> if you have a cyst a benign cyst uh, any type of growth under your skin you better get that shit removed right now before it actually gets to the point of this because this hurts it is not fun and i'm hoping everything goes smooth today because like this has been the worst week of my life so Get your health insurance, get Medi-Cal or whatever insurance you need to get because Jesus Christ. Insane. What in the world? So wish me luck, you guys. I'm going in right now. You guys, I am in the doctor's office. Look at that shit. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared, but I'm so relieved at the same time. So I will keep y'all updated. They're gonna use all this stuff to drain it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get it removed today because they said that it's infected and you can't remove an infected cyst. So I'm gonna have to go home and do like hot compresses after they drain it here. And then once I do that for like a week or so, then I'm gonna see a specialist who's used to removing the sac and they're gonna do an incision and take out the sac so that it doesn't come back.
So this is what it looked like after she numbed it six times all around that and then it kind of bursted open and then she started squeezing the stuff out. This is what it looks like as it's like coming out. <laughs> and then this is, you know, waiting for the numbing to kick in and still oozing out, you know, gross, gross. She just left and said she would come back. So they numbed me, which hurt a lot, but now I can at least touch it and it don't feel like nothing. You know, when they numb your mouth at the dentist, that's what it's giving, but like on my, on my chest. This is crazy, y'all. This is absolutely crazy. So this is what it looked like after she took a scalpel and gashed it open to squeeze all the stuff out and just told me to do hot compresses for 20 minutes three times a day basically sent me home with an open gash and this is me doing the first hot compress i just used a reusable ziploc bag and a hot towel with hot boiling water and that's what it's looking like kind of more flat so progress i guess hey guys i'm finally feeling better um i'm finally feeling better I've been having to do the hot compresses and stuff. Oh, never mind. We don't have to update this later because I'm finna go to the beach with my boo thing. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Damn. 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 Just wearing sweatshorts. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do too much. So. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't want to lock my shit. They don't lock my shit. Okay, you guys, now I can finally update you. So, as I was saying, um, the cyst appointment did not go so well when I had to do the second follow-up. 
I'm so freaking mad. I literally was in tears because I thought that they were just going to take the sack out and literally my life would be starting to get better, you know? <laughs> but they didn't take the sack out and she said they weren't doing, going to do stitches, which literally broke my heart. I literally got all teary-eyed because I'm like, what do you mean you're not gonna do stitches? Like, y'all took a scalpel and sliced my shit open and y'all not gonna do stitches? And my next sack removal appointment is not even until August 2nd. And it's literally freaking July right now. So, like, <laughs> what? Like, I just have to keep this open wound and keep doing hot compresses, apparently. And that's supposed to help everything. So, I'm just... I don't know. I thought it was going to be done and I could finally start healing, but that's not going to be happening and that's not my journey, I guess. I'm going to have to keep the open wound, which is still open. It's in a bandage right now, but today is finally a day where it didn't hurt and I can actually move around, which is actually crazy, but yeah, so I came out to the beach and stuff and now we're about to go eat. Have you guys ever seen a bike station? You can like pull those pieces out and put air in your tire and fix your bike. I've never seen that before. That's so cool. <laughs> That's hella funny. I didn't know he lived over here. Still continuing with the hot compresses, you guys. <sighs> it's a process, but if this is what's gonna heal me, then whatever. Gotta do what you gotta do. 20 minutes at a time. Meanwhile, Winter is chilling, living her best life as always. Must be nice to be living rent free, boo boo. I never get tired of this view. I love it so much when I walk down my stairs. <laughs> I'm about to go to CVS real quick because I need some milk for my coffee. Mm. Isn't it beautiful though? It's giving postcards. 